Day 10 of the Open coincided with Australia's national holiday. The patriotic crowd poured into Melbourne Park for day two of the quarterfinals. And while there was no homegrown players left in the tournament, the local fans got behind their adopted Aussie, Kim Clijsters. Come on, Kim! Woo! With her legs strapped up, the Belgian took on 12th seed Agnieszka Radwanska for a spot in the semis. Both struggled to hold serve in the first, Kleister's the lucky one who came out on top. The 2004 finalist edged ahead 4-2 and held on to win the set with yet another break of serve. Kleister's looked in cruise control in the second as she once again opened up a 4-2 lead. But as Australia Day festivities unravelled overhead, so did Kleister's game. Rudwanska stunned the third seed as she won the next three games and had the chance to serve for the set. But the Belgian proved just why she's the tournament favourite as she pushed the seat into a tie break and her way into the semis 6-3-7-6. Yeah, the There's only one Andy Murray! Andy Murray's unblemished run of the tournament came to an end against Alexander Dolgopolov. This year's surprise package pushed the scot but was eventually bundled out in four sets. The hot dog just lacked the mustard as he blew the chance to force the first set to a tie break. Murray made him pay, although it took him four set points. The world number five looked on track for yet another straight sets victory as he won the second set in just 36 minutes. But the Ukrainian remained in the match as he won the third in a tense tie break. Unable to dig as deep in the fourth set, Murray worked Dolgopolov around the ring and with his opponent against the ropes, he delivered the final blow. Dolgopolov's dream run over, 7-5, 6-3, Number two seed Vera Zvonareva won through to her second Oz Open semi-final with a clinical victory over Petra Kvitova. The Russian used power and precision to wrap up the first set in less than 30 minutes. Game. Up three love in the second set, Zvonareva became unsettled as the match was interrupted. First with an injury to a patron, then the booming sound of a 21-gun salute. Oh, we've got a lady in the stands with an injured ankle. That was one distraction, but now it is Australia Day here and the 21-gun salute is uh, being fired. Kvitova made the most of her shell-shocked opponent as she levelled at three all. But hopes of an upset disappeared as Von Areva recorded back-to-back -back breaks to win 6-2, 6-4. Yes. 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 